Introducing ClutchBet, Colorado's only sports betting app offering bet insurance up to 50 bucks when you bet the over at Colorado's ballpark. Download today and get up to $1,000 in bonus bets over your first five weeks. Now that's clutch. Terms apply. Must be 21 or older and present in Colorado. Gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-GAMBLER if you or someone you know needs help. Viator is the world's leading travel experience marketplace. From simple tours to extreme adventures and everything in between. Underground donut tour in Miami. Mallorca hot air balloon ride. Wine tour in Tuscany. Book them all on Viator. One app, over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Use code Viator10 in the app for 10% off your first booking. Click or tap the banner below for unforgettable travel experiences. Years ago, and we reevaluated our brand, which used to be Fox 21 News right now, mm -hmm. but people can get news right now everywhere. And we wanted to do something that we felt would connect us more to all of our viewers throughout Southern Colorado. So we came up with a new brand, which is Fox 21. We are Southern Colorado. And so we try to take ownership of that and do a lot of unique things. Um, we go out to a community in throughout Southern Colorado every quarter. So we've, we're on our seventh one. We just finished San Luis Valley. We've been to Salida, Canyon City, Trinidad, Pueblo, and uh, next up is Woodland Park. And so we take a whole week to highlight and showcase what's unique and different about that city to to really uh, exemplify when we say we are Southern Colorado, it's bringing really unique and interesting content to our viewers that they can't get anywhere else. Very, very cool. And you do, when you talk about Southern Colorado, it is very much the Southern part of Colorado. Exactly. You got a lot of ground to carry, but a lot it's of ground it, to cover. Exactly. It, it, impressive <laughs> that you've been able to do it. Now, as far as SoCo CW, Roland and I used to be on there calling the switchbacks matches. Um, now we're talking about fun, and with my guy Nova in the stable, <laughs> I know that he's the guy that's going to drive that. Tell us about what's going on with SoCo CW. Well, and so, you know, we create a different identity for that station that doesn't have news, but we have a lot of um, sitcoms and a lot of game shows and Prime that lends itself to a younger audience. But also uh, we're, we're getting into more of the local sports game. Obviously, we, we have been with the switchbacks, right. carrying the switchbacks for the last three years. And um, we, uh, our, our parent company, Nextstar Media Group, just announced that uh, we will be carrying uh, ACC football and basketball yes. starting in uh, the fall. Very and we also have Live Golf on um, – which is a bit controversial, but <laughs> we have live golf on uh, on the Soka CW as well. Yeah, it's very cool, and maybe maybe Pac-12 football, but that's a conversation for uh, <laughs> my re regular daily uh, sports talk show. But a lot of really cool stuff happening with both Fox 21 and Soko uh, CW. So check it out on your television. You probably already have noticed some of the. That's Donna D'Amico, the general manager of Fox 21 and SoCo CW. We will continue on with the Switchbacks halftime show after this on Extra Sports 1300. Go Switchbacks!
Stacking Benjamins with Joe and his good friend OG not only has great financial insight, it's laid back with humor too. Dollar cost averaging works because everything else doesn't. Let me put that a different way. But dollar cost averaging works every time. Just keep buying. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> People spend a lot of time, OG, worrying about when to buy. This is really simple. You should invest when you have the money and you should withdraw the money when you need the money. Boom. There it is. I believe they call that a mic drop. The Stacking Benjamin Show, available on YouTube or wherever you listen. Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. You want to get that paper to secure the bag? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchooled.com. The key is to make it, so make it. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. You want to get that paper to secure the bag? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchooled.com. The key is to make it, so make it. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Ever wonder why your business doesn't show up on online search maps, but your competitors do? It's hundreds of things. Things that Cumulus Boost can identify and fix. And that's how we boost your findability. CumulusBoost.com. C-U-M-U-L-U-S Boost.com. Your one-stop shop for the best sports betting content is BetQL. Every Saturday and Sunday starting at 10 a.m. on Extra Sports 1300. Welcome back to the Switchbacks Halftime Show here on Extra Sports 1300. Ryan Kaufman joined by the Grand Poobah over at Phil Long Ford of Motor City. He is Mark Barton. Mark, always a pleasure to have you. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? I'm so excited, man. We're on a little winning streak here. I know, like right? The dealership. You guys are always up to something good. Ford Motor City and Value Car is hosting a ride and drive EV event this weekend. Could you tell us a little bit more about what that is and how the process of educating people on just how awesome these EVs are? Sure. Really great question. We have Ford of Detroit. They picked out 200 dealers. We were lucky to get that honor. They probably have about 12 uh, racing professional guys here that know EVs inside and out. They brought about 24 cars. It's just come on on, drive them, feel them, smell them, touch them. And then really cool thing, at the end of the event, sign up to win a Maki. So they're doing that nationwide, obviously. So it's a great time. Get some free food, listen to some music, and um, drive some electric cars. See what you think. I mentioned the value car brand. Uh, you know, they help connect people with all different types of vehicle needs, affordable used vehicles. Talk about some of what you're offering to make through your value car brand car ownership a little bit easier for people here in Colorado Springs. You know, we do some very unusual. First of all, we, we handpick certain cars that we know are about 30, 40, 50 percent off of sticker. They have, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40,000 miles. They, we offer, we give you a 100,000 mile, you know, powertrain warranty, um, no payments for 90 days. You know, we have rates even on those cars as low as 3.9 in a hectic market that you can't touch any rates now under 6, 7%, Ryan. That's amazing. I missed the boat on that, but uh, thankfully some people listening can certainly take advantage of it. Ford of Motor City, Ryan the Hart of Motor City. Can't miss it. And then value cars right around the corner. Just Google them. Go to philong.com to kind of check things out before you go in if you so choose. Mark Barton, always appreciate the time.
at Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must log rate between 331 and 831. Call 37 rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing letter license in all 50 states. And MLS Consumer Access Hour, number 3030. Already listen to us. Now follow us at Extra Sports 1300 on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. <laughs> Well, it's good that we don't have much time before the second half opens because we really don't want to talk about what happened in the first half. Switchbacks trailing San Diego Loyal 4-0. They're down to 10 men. What does Stephen Hogan have up his sleeve? We'll find out next on Extra Sports 1300. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must log rate between 331 and 831. Call 837 Rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing letter license in all 50 states. NMLS Consumer Access Hour, number 3030. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily. Most live sporting events. See our live sports schedule at extrasports1300.com. Start of the second half, switchbacks trailing 4-0. San Diego Loyal had the opening possession and squandered it. It will be a goal kick for Christian Herrera. Roland Vargas, what in the world do the switchbacks do here? Yeah, the first order of business, they bring on Jonas Fjellberg to replace Jay Chapman, so they sacrifice one of their central midfielders to try to get some more pace if they can hit on the break, which they're gonna. that's how they're going to be playing in this second half, down to 10. Uh, San Diego counter with a change of their own. The young Kiwi Kyle Adams comes onto the field. Jonas Fjellberg fouled with his first touch of the ball. This substitution brought to you by the William J. Hibble Sports Medicine and Performance Center. Learn more at hibblecenter.org. So switchbacks trailing 4-0. But good news, they are moving right to left across your radio dial because if the first half is any indication, all the goals are in the north goal, which is what the switchbacks are shooting at. As this one runs over the head of Oscar Ogren and out of play, Coca Vegas will tee up a goal kick here. 46-43 for those of you sinking the broadcast. That's the time on the clock. and Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the score. 4-0. San Diego with the advantage. The uh, goals for San Diego, two of them came within the first nine minutes. One at the half an hour mark and then one very late in the first half in the third minute of stoppage time. A terrific header by Tumi Mu Shobane, who is somebody that uh, Stephen Hogan was very quick yeah. to identify. You know, Conway's garnering the headlines, but both of Conway's goals last week against Hartford were assisted by Mosho Bonnie. Yep. He was kind of a super sub for them the last couple of years, and he's gotten into the starting 11, and uh, he's made the most of it. Yeah, he sure has, and we saw Ronaldo Damus going through his paces at halftime. Well, San Diego might be able to go from strength to strength. It's going to be real difficult with the switchbacks playing with 10. 
They've got Jonas Fjellberg on the field. Saw him get injured late on against Monterey, so it's good that he's had that time to rest, get back out there. Nice challenge from Speedy Williams, just loses the ball. Stevie Echeverria tries to clean it up. It'll go all the way through. Little run for Oscar Agren. And it was Joe Corona who sent it downfield. We have not mentioned him tonight, of course, has an extensive international career. Was their big addition this offseason for San Diego. He's fit in nicely, but there are some other players who have put up the numbers. I have a genuine hockey question for you. In soccer, if you pull the goalkeeper at the half, it destroys the goalkeeper. It just absolutely ruins the confidence. But in hockey, you see it consistently. A really top goalkeepers will get pulled. Mm-hmm. Why does it not affect that? Is it just because it's such a, a long season and they're, they're just under so many shots? Well, I, I think that some of the time the coach will tell – his goaltender like it's not on you we're just i i'm sending a message to the rest of the guys that's really the only guy that you can replace got you uh, but it's also i just think it's a, a nature of the business type of thing got goaltenders you. are more used to it than goalkeepers got you i mean do you it, i guess by the setup to your question if you were stephen hogan you wouldn't even think about putting joe kuzminski in no because i think if you If you leave Herrera out and he gives up a couple more goals and has a couple more mistakes, I think that's honestly even better than pulling him out because if you pull him out, soccer goalkeepers, I mean, it just, it does not work in this sport. I mean, his, his confidence is obviously very low as it is. And if you do that in front of the home fans and make that kind of a statement, it's, it's not something that you can excuse away by just resting his legs. I mean, he's a goalkeeper. So you're pulling him out because of the the mistakes that he had in the first half. And I just think it's, in hockey, you can do that, and you see that all the time. But in soccer, I just I just don't think you can do it, not in the middle of a long season like the switchbacks are. Now, you may see something down in the Valley of the Sun with the switchbacks, and that'll be something that we can talk to head coach Hogan about, but you can't do that in the middle of a game. Now, if he goes down again, if he's really struggling with that right leg like we saw sure. him in the first half, then maybe as a coaching staff you might even breathe a bit of a sigh of relief because that kind of takes the pressure off of you having to make that decision. But pulling him out at halftime that's that's not something that even the best goalkeepers do well to respond from and by best i mean most experienced international level goalkeepers across the top levels of this sport for sure and and look this is this was out of character for christian herrera he flat out has been one of the best goalkeepers in the league so this is just a really bad yeah. night for him and i do not expect it to continue whatsoever moving forward but it is been rough for christian herrera but look the the two the two bodily goals like forget about it that that's not on christian so you know you do this in hockey you know what what's on the guys in front of him what's on the goalkeeper i feel like two are on christian two are not yep that fourth one from san diego there's nothing he can do with that strike they just get a the benefit of a ricochet down off of the crossbar and then a nice header from Moshe Obana, he had a lot to do mm. to get that one on frame. This game already just, what, ticking up towards seven minutes gone by in the second half. A lot slower of a pace. Good win back, though, by Tejada. Beckford will push his way down the far side, crosses the corner of the box, brings it on his right foot, fires that one blocked. It will go out of play for a McDivitt Law Firm corner kick. And maybe a change in tactics here where Patrick Segrist is going to take this corner kick from the far side. Juan Tejada had been taking them in the first half. Segrist quickly sending it in. Pretty good looking ball into the box. San Diego able to clear, though. Just over the head of Matt Mahoney. Good pass in, like you said. And that one headed towards goal by Mahoney, but Coke Vegas in the right position. And then Matt Mahoney was offside anyway, but a yeah, good he, looking pass in from DeShane Beck. Yeah, really good recycling of possession by the switchbacks. Ogden and Mahoney stayed forward from that set piece. Wouldn't have counted anyway. That's how, if the switchbacks are going to get a goal, if they're going to climb anywhere near back into this game they're going to have to get something cheap they're going to have to get something off of a set piece or off of a 
big individual error from San Diego. The Switchbacks fans have not forgotten what Grant Stoneman has done in this game, so they are continuing to boo him whenever he touches the ball. Juan Tejada with possession for the Switchbacks as they force a turnover out to Fielberg. Fielberg battling but cannot keep possession. There's just nothing he could do. Two, three, four, eventually San Diego players around him. Switchbacks, though, are doing the right thing. They're moving the ball quickly. Speedy Williams trying to play it up to DeShane Beckford, and a second defender comes over for San Diego and sends it out onto the concourse. If you're just joining us, what Grant Stoneman did was get Romario Williams sent off for what is being ruled as violent conduct. As Roland pointed out, the fourth official went over to the switchback's bench and patted his forehead insinuating some sort of a headbutt occurred. We've gotten some eyewitness accounts from down there that say there was nothing, but that's why Grant Stoneman is being booed every time he touches the ball. We'll take a break for legal ID here in just one moment as the switchbacks play it to the far side out of play and let's do it now let's pause 10 seconds for station identification you're listening to switchback soccer on extra sports 1300 kcsf colorado springs a cumulus media station live from the clutch bet studios this is extra sports 1300 four nil san diego loyal up on the switchbacks with Producer extraordinaire, Andrew Scorgi in studio. Ryan and Roland with you at Widener Field. Jonas Fieldberg weaving through traffic, loses possession. San Diego plays it to the near side for Adrian Perez. And that one forced out by Segris. So it'll be a throw for the visitors. Already Jonas Fieldberg, real live wire, wants to cut in on that right foot. Everyone knows that. San Diego marking him well. Loyal taking their time with the throw. They go back to Coke Vegas. And Vegas will play it to Colin Martin. Martin over to the far sideline. Now in the middle of the field, Charlie Adams. Now Stoneman back with it to his right for Martin. Martin across the field to Camden Riley. Oh, excuse me, I got it backwards. Camden Riley's now moved to this side of the field. This one played up the field and cleared out by Mahoney. It will be a loyal throw in. Brokers into Mushabane. San Diego has to pass it back towards midfield. 56-10 gone by. Switchbacks trailing 4-0. They're down to 10 men. But other than that, everything's going great. Ball sent in. Christian Herrera able to glove it. Yeah, they had a player over on the far side. It's way too much air on it. It's going to be interesting what happens to the switchbacks when we get around that hour mark which we're precipitously ticking up to as we speak some of these legs are going to get very tired chasing the game around with 10 men and this is why it's so important for the switchbacks to get up early on their opponents because then it's usually their opponents that are wearing out with the altitude and having to chase the game but the switchbacks have been exerting a lot of effort for the better part of an hour because that's basically how long they've been trailing as Stoneman has it deep in the half of the San Diego or San Diego half of the field. And now a whistle. And San Diego's going to be allowed to throw it in. Colin Martin dribbling up the field. 
Over to Stoneman. Stoneman across midfield to the far sideline. Good play there by San Diego. Switchbacks recover well. San Diego sends it in, and there's a collision between Herrera and one of the San Diego players, and rightly it will be the visitor who will get whistled for that play. And that was good goalkeeping. He had to throw himself in, had to get to that ball first, did just that. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, Aaron Wheeler, getting ready to dust off his latest hairstyle and get into this match. Interesting to see where he plays. We've seen him drop a little bit further back this season. But, of course, an out-and-out target man with his size. That should be a foul and is. There's a little bit of an arm that was left in there from Camden Riley on Jonas Fjellberg. Fjellberg been a mark man since he checked into this match at the half. We're going to get another change. Aaron Wheeler is going to enter this contest as we enter minute number 60. It will be a free kick for Colorado Springs. Speedy Williams will take it. This free kick brought to you by Underline, delivering gigabit fiber internet. Learn more at underline.com slash COS as Speedy Williams plays that one down the field in nowhere close to where Juan Tejado was going. Yeah, and I don't understand that one, even best case scenario, if Tejada is able to track that down. He's got his back to goal. He's in the corner. Switchbacks would like to have that one back as they try to press against San Diego. Nice little pizza slice to play out. They've got a little bit of space out on the far side. Mushubane pass. Taken away by Colorado Springs. Now Speedy Williams over to the far sideline. Skundrich trying to force it through to a teammate. Could not. San Diego will get a throw. Malik Foster also going to come into this game for the switchbacks. making the changes that they can. Colorado Springs across midfield. The reverse fields looking for Fieldberg. Brings it into his grasp. Now stepping to his right, firing, and Coke Vegas placed in the exact right spot, able to make the save. Yeah, he wasn't really able to step into it and get that much power on it. Fjellberg, decent save from Coke Vegas, one he saw the whole way. The warning signs are there. Switchbacks like that outlet of Fjellberg. He likes to cut in on the right foot. But San Diego playing very professionally in this second half, just keeping things in front of them, maintaining possession, trying to wear and Work on those switchbacks' legs. They've got a trio, question mark, of subs getting ready to check in to San Diego. Ronaldo DeMoose, one of those. Getting stripped off and ready to go. Coca Vegas, meanwhile, over to the far side. Now to Stoneman. Chobane way back in the formation to send it back to Vegas. Now will be Camden Riley to Mosho Bonne. All ping pongs around, ends up on the feet of DeShane Beckford. Beckford's pass a little bit behind its intended target. San Diego reclaims possession. He'll pass it up to Conway. Conway's pass swiped by the switchbacks. Alejandro Guido, Ronaldo Damus, and Elliot Collier are the three they're going to check in for San Diego. Switchbacks want to bring on Aaron Wheeler and Malik Foster. They've been waiting an awful long time. As Segrist drives the switchbacks forward, has Fjellberg outside and uses him. And then Fjellberg goes back to Mahoney to the midfield circle for Ogren. 
Now Speedy Williams, quick touch here, trying to hit to Shane Beckford, and his defender just beat him to it. Coke Vegas, meanwhile, sending it downfield. It was actually defended really well. Danger signs here. Yeah, Moshe Bonne one-on-one with the switchbacks captain. Moshe Bonne into the box, crosses over Mahoney, loses possession a bit, and the ball cleared out as the switchbacks got back defensively to help out Matt Mahoney. Yeah, Mahoney did enough, and Christian Herrera, fair play to him, slid out, made himself huge. The switchbacks were able to hack it away. Now we should see those changes. And it will be a bunch of them. So it will be, as you Roland called, it will be Alejandro Guido coming on for his 14th appearance of the year. He has a goal and an assist. Uh, also checking into the contest is Ronaldo de Moose. 16 matches played. He has five goals and two assists. So a pretty good year, but just right now is really struggling to find his form. And then who is the Elliot Collier? Making his way in as well. 17th appearance for Collier. He has a goal and two assists. And then for the switchbacks, the substitutions exactly how you would envision them being. Aaron Wheeler comes in for Juan Tejada. Malik Foster in for Deshane Beckford. These substitutions brought to you by the William J. Hibble Sports Medicine and Performance Center. Learn more at hyblcenter.org. For Malik Foster, it will be... 20 appearances is off the free kick. The switchbacks are offside. And for Aaron Wheeler, his 17th. Malik Foster with a pair of goals, pair of assists. Uh, Aaron Wheeler has yet to score a goal or assist on one so far this year. 6507. And counting, switchbacks trailing 4-0. All the damage done by San Diego in the first half. Maybe all the damage they needed to do within the first 10 minutes. So unlucky there. Speedy Williams jumped that passing lane. Very unlucky not to be able to deflect that one toward Aaron Wheeler. gentleman sitting in front of me that's got an awful lot going on he's got a buffalo bills hat a manchester united rain jacket and a pittsburgh penguins like bandana and i'm just wondering what the crossover here is like where's he actually from i'm trying to even think of a link to any of those i cannot it's probably from phoenix Good challenge, Segrist. And Fjellberg running into Camden Riley. And Riley, for impeding the progress of Jonas Fjellberg, will see a yellow card. And we have seen quite a bit of them. I'm surprised that the card doesn't, like, disintegrate as he pulls it out of his pocket with how much he's presented it here this evening. Brought to you by Diversus Health, Mental Health and Well-Being for All. Leading to a free kick for Speedy Williams. Yeah, this one needs to be directed at Aaron Wheeler. Make no mistake about it. Everyone in the stadium knows it. Just clip this one up. Let Aaron Wheeler attack it. See if the switchbacks can't get something off of the knockdown from Wheeler because he will win the ball, like right here or not. Was The header was for the switchbacks, perhaps Matt Mahoney instead of Aaron Wheeler, it's saved easily by Coke Vegas, who proceeds to throw it out to the far sideline. And we continue on. 67-17. Gone by. Switchbacks trailing 4-0. A match that saw a 45-minute delay due to lightning. Goals in the first, ninth, 30th, and 48th minute. And... In between that, Romario Williams getting sent off with the red card. Yeah, so we'll have to get confirmation of that, but he'll at least be out for the trip down to Phoenix. 
see if the switchbacks don't lodge some sort of an appeal. If the camera crew was able to catch any angle on it, which we have not seen in the stadium. Gary Stebbins and Adam Parker would have had that one on replay, just saying. Stoneman back with possession. Played up the far sideline. San Diego looking for a call. We'll eventually get it. Referee initially played an advantage. There wasn't one occurring. San Diego all too happy just to continue to wind down the clock. 68-35 on the scoreboard here at Widener Field. Roland mentioned Romario Williams perhaps being out for next Saturday's match. It will be a little bit later start than you're accustomed to because the game will be in Phoenix. It will be an 8.30 kick, 8 o'clock pregame right here on Extra Sports 1300. Stoneman. Plays that one down the field. Ogren is there. Loyal take possession again. Camden Riley to the near side. Perez working his way in again. Sets his man up right on the doorstep in San Diego. Why not? Scores again. 5-0. Again, way too easy. Right through the switchbacks. Bit of a defensive breakdown again from them. Don't think there was much that Christian Herrera would could do. 5-0. Yeah, three of their five goals have come on those yeah. crosses. Yeah. No, it was it was good play, good build up play down the right hand side, and it was a decent enough ball across, but I don't think a ball it was just kind of clipped in. You should have a player with the freedom of the 18-yard box to just swipe that one home. Was it Collier that got it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, just way too much space for the big man. It's not like he's inconspicuous. And that adds to a tremendous evening for Adrian Perez. Yeah. Amen. He's been fantastic. Goal and two assists. Oh, uh, three. Yeah. Because he'll get the credit yeah. for the Mushobani goal. Exactly. Can't remember one like this. No, I, I, I mean, I think back to the, 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 the days that were not as fun as we yeah. typically have now. Yep. And I don't think that we. And I just saw anything like this. No. Yeah. Speaking only for myself, I couldn't see this one coming at all with the way that the switchbacks have played at Widener Field, the confidence of the group. You came out to practice as well. I know you heard that, and you heard the the line that they were really trying to look at their games, the remaining games at Widener Field, win all of those and put themselves in a position to potentially host a playoff game. Certainly did not see a San Diego team that's been kind of hit, miss, a lot of draws this season, nothing really to wow you coming into Widener Field and putting five on the switchbacks before we've played 70 minutes. And there, look, they're extenuating circumstances, switchbacks being down to 10, rightly or wrongly, with Romario Williams seeing red. But this one did not have on the bingo card. There is a substitution for San Diego Loyal. Morgan Hackworth will be making just the eighth appearance of the season. He's only logged 31 minutes. He has a, uh, an assist to his credit, though, and Blake Bodily, who had a tremendous evening himself, uh, ends up exiting the game having scored two goals tonight. Substitution brought to you by the William J. Hibble Sports Medicine and Performance Center. Learn more at hibblecenter.org. Yeah, it just you you go along in the match and you say, okay, giving up a goal in the first minute, maybe that's the ten days off. Yep. And then the ninth minute, 
it's like, okay, maybe you're a little bit slow getting back into form. And then just the, I, I guess it's just one of those things, bring up a hockey term, it's just become a gong show, right? And like everything for San Diego is working, nothing yep. for the switchbacks, the damage. How often do we have to talk about it? The first 15 minutes. And, and that really doomed it, whether this ends up 5-0 or 7-0, that was really the game right there, the first 10 minutes. Yeah, and at a certain point, you don't really know. You won't know until later in the season what the damage from a loss like this is, whether it's it ends at 5 or whether the switchbacks are, look, able to get a goal ends at 5-1 or if it becomes 6 or 7 or 8. Um, but when I talked to head coach Hogan during the week and I asked him, I said, what about the extra time off? What about the momentum that you lost from that? He said, pointedly, I'll tell you after the game. And that has to be a factor in this especially from the goalkeeping position where that's something where you fall into a rhythm where you need the consistency of practice in games and it hasn't been there tonight for Christian Herrera. Switchbacks quickly work to that piece. Malik Foster's shot is saved. Good job there by Coke Vegas. Yeah, it's a really good save. To keep the clean sheet alive. As San Diego sends that one out of play near midfield on the far side. Really good save from Vegas. Throw in for Colorado Springs as we are 74 and a half minutes into this one. Ball bounces out of play off of Colorado Springs. I think that fifth was the cue for some people to check out of this one. Stan starting to empty out a little bit. Camden Riley, meanwhile, will throw this one in. And the header won by Philper goes right back to Riley. Aaron Wheeler getting in there, taking the ball away. Love it. Love it. Dilly dallied on it just a little bit. That's unnecessary from Wheeler. He might pick himself up a yellow card. Just left one in. Did Aaron Wheeler. He knew what he was doing. Just and was that on Stoneman? I think it was, and it was just a frustration foul from Aaron Wheeler. Referee is going to just have a chat to the young man from Charm City. Yeah, so not only frustration about that play, but you think back to the first half, Aaron Wheeler, the veteran he is, trying to send a little bit of a message there. How much you want to bet Aaron Wheeler has a future coaching with the switchbacks? Oh, I mean, he's already openly talked about yeah. coaching. Yeah, I'd put anything on it. He and Chambo on the bench together would be quite oh. something. I mean, we already see it, right? But in yeah. that different capacity. There you go. Just Stoneman. Ran, yeah, just ran a little central. Stoneman able to hook it clear. Nice touch from C.V. Echeverria. Just outnumbered in midfield. He won't give up the fight, though. San Diego on it. Camden Riley. Plays this one forward and a little too forward. It'll roll all the way to Christian Herrera, who picks this one up. Wanted to curl it with the right foot, angle it into that run of Ronaldo Damus. Just out of his reach, even with his prodigious pace. Nice flick from wheels. Philbert. Brings it into his possession, and then Riley knocks it away from him. It'll be a throw for Patrick Segris. Down in the corner. Segris to Fieldberg. Offside. And those are those those are the ones that drive Stephen Hogan nuts. Yeah, right? they drive There's me nuts. There's no reason. Yeah, it drives me nuts up in the booth. That's just 101. Off the throw in, obviously can't be offside. You get the first ball, and then you just don't regen back. As simple as could be for the referee's assistant. Riley sending this one downfield. Mahoney wins a header. Play back the other way to Moose, trying to run it down, but the switchbacks will send it to Herrera. Gilbert skying to 
win a ball, but San Diego right back on it. Stoneman. And now this one sent down the far sideline by San Diego. Just getting it out of their own half. Christian Herrera will play it. Herrera downfield for Aaron Wheeler. Just missed the header, and it ends up on the feet of Coke Vegas. Yeah, veteran defending move. Let Aaron Wheeler feel the contact, and you just pull the chair out from under him. San Diego dribbling towards midfield. Switchbacks cut off the passing lane. And now earn a foul as Speedy Williams. Doing a good job there. And a yellow card. Just for the descent, I think, after the free kick was awarded. Now Joe Corona getting carded. Brought to you by? Traverses Health. Mental, Mental health. health and well-being for all. Exactly. Uh, these two teams play pretty soon. A yeah. couple weeks. That's going to be awkward. At least the switchbacks aim to have a full complement of players their trip to San Diego as the switchbacks are offside again. Just not sure how that's physically possible to be offside from a free kick taken from the halfway line, but we move on. You know, I was just thinking about as thinking about the fact that the switchbacks play in San Diego. Two of the worst switchbacks moments both may have come against San Diego Loyal tonight and then when the league forced them to play when they had like seven healthy guys yeah Aaron Wheeler's playing center midfield <laughs> that was a disgrace yeah that was that was absurd And who knows where they are in the standings. They might see each other again. Yeah. Well, I'll play back to Christian Herrera. Sent downfield Camden Riley with the header. Now Riley. Cross midfield. Now play to the near sideline. Dribbling it up is Adrian Perez. He's had a night of nights. Loses out of play, though. Switchbacks with the throw. We're in the 81st minute. Switchbacks trailing 5-0. Good win there by the switchbacks. Here's Aaron Wheeler. Over to Malik Foster. Foster shoots. Save made by Coca Vegas. Yeah, and it's a terrific save as well. Down hard to his right-hand side. Big, strong right hand. Great chance for the switchbacks. They had the pace in behind. Jonas Fjellberg just with some contact. Doesn't need anything more from the referee. San Diego will take as much time as they possibly can with this free kick. In no rush. We'll see if either team decides to make a late change. Switchbacks have a couple subs thinking about it. So the scoring breakdown tonight, two goals came before the red to Romario Williams. The last three have all been against 10-man Colorado Springs. And that helps you if you're a coaching staff in the post-mortem you know right it helps you just put this one in the rear view and get rid of this a lot of space over on the far side oscar Dagren, keen to it comes across sweeps it back to christian herrera who just thumps it long looked like there were some switchbacks players offside but we play on aaron wheeler up and under to himself question mark yep <laughs> and now header towards fieldberg taken away by san diego they'll flip it into the switchbacks half to moose and Ogren running after it. Demoose has it. He'll cross it and just miss his intended target. The first thing tonight that did not go San Diego's way. That was a good win by Demoose and a pretty good setup. 
Great setup. Stryker has to use his left foot there. Not sure why the stumble and the try to use the outside of the right. Great play from Damus. In fairness, Oscar Ogren did about as much as he could do pushing Damus out wide. He's never going to win that pace battle. And then the Orange County player on the follow-up just has to stick out a left foot to direct that one. Just kind of lost track of his steps. And that was the goal-scoring hero from earlier, Elliot Collier. He's got one tonight. Not there, though. Score remains 5-0. Switchbacks force the turnover at midfield and then give it right back up. Perez angling towards goal. Gets around Matt Mahoney, but he lost the ball in the process. Christian Herrera there to scoop it up. Switchbacks living ever more dangerously not only are they trying to push numbers four but the numbers they have at the back starting to get awfully leggy stoneman to corona back to stoneman lake foster lurking ball played to the far sideline for san diego loyal Midfield circle will be Guido passing it back and now ends up on the feet of Camden Riley. Charlie Adams pushing it up the field and a long pass runs out of play. Throw in here for Colorado Springs. Can we not do a better business bureau man of the match? Can we just give our shout Read, out to the verify bank? customer reviews and get business ratings at bbb.org. Oscar Ogren plays the ball back to Christian Herrera. Now headed by Riley. And for those of you watching on ESPN Plus, yes, uh, Camden and I both got haircuts for the occasion, so we would match each other. He took a little bit more off the side than I did today. You know how long it's been since I was able to take a little bit off the side? <laughs> like two thousand. It's a blessing and a curse, my friend, this salad I got up here. Yeah. Sorry about that. Mm. My heart goes out to you. Ball out of play. It's the one thing I have on you, Roland, okay? Oh, like settle everything down. else, settle down. I'm getting waxed by Roland Bargish. Let me have this. Don't oh. Urban Dictionary waxed by Roland Bargish. <laughs> Joe Corona on the near sideline passes it to middle to Ronaldo. The Moose. Switchbacks able to force the turnover again. Malik Foster running to the far sideline. Staying on his feet. Nice job there by Foster. Malik trying to give the fans something to cheer about. Malik Foster into the box, deflected into the arms of Coke Vegas. Yeah, he only had Aaron Wheeler up with him to hit. Great run, though, on the far side. Started that run about... 60 yards before the pass. And going flying into the challenge is Stevie Echeverria. Not offering a helping hand up. He gets into the referee's notebook. The latest player in tonight's match. Where are we at here? Now, normally when I say we have more yellow cards than we have goals that's not really saying anything but when i say that we have more cards than goals and the number of goals is five that's something we're up to six yellow cards four for san diego two for colorado springs plus there's the additional red card and i believe i don't know why 
this is the way it is. But I don't think uh, Chambo's yellow goes into the official talent. It doesn't. It looks like he's going to be able to see the end of this match, too. So make it seven yellows and a red. We resume play. A couple minutes left in the allotted 90. I think the fourth official can do everyone a favor here. Make the number small. Ball played up to the middle of the field for Jonas Fieldberg. Back to Matt Mahoney. Switchbacks go long. Aaron Wheeler wins the ball, trying to head it over to a charging Drew Scundrich just out of his reach. Coke Vegas picks it up. Quick touch there by San Diego. Switchbacks take it away. Speedy Williams up to Wheeler. Nice little touch out to Malik Foster again. It's threatening a shot and saved by Coke Vegas. One for the cameras there from Coke Vegas. Well struck. And like you said, nice little flick from Wheeler in the buildup. Switchbacks ending this game with some energy. Corona able to take it away for San Diego, and now they're charging despite being two on four. Pass out to the near side for DeMoose. He'll run it down, but two switchbacks close out on him. So DeMoose goes back towards midfield, and now it's just going to be keep away from San Diego as we anxiously await how crooked the number is on the fourth official's LED board. And it won't be. Good on you, young fella. One minute of TikTok shop stoppage time. And we are into it right now. Another yellow. Yeah, switchbacks are... Aaron Wheeler this time. Yeah, going to get carded again this time, Aaron Wheeler. Did I mention that yellow cards are brought to you by Diversus Health? And did I mention that Diversus Health wants mental health and well-being for all? They're actually phenomenal people, and you should definitely check them out. But no lack of brand awareness this evening for the fine folks at Diversus Health. Free kick for San Diego, far side of the field. Towards the far sideline, they'll go short with it. That's it. And that'll do it. Wow. What a night. And I don't mean that in a good way. 5 0. Switchbacks fall to San Diego Loyal. We will have a Switchbacks post match show. And that uh, comes your way next here on Extra Sports 1300. Viator is the world's leading travel experience marketplace. From simple tours to extreme adventures and everything in between. Underground donut tour in Miami, Mallorca hot air balloon ride, wine tour in Tuscany. Book them all on Viator. One app, over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Use code Viator10 in the app for 10% off your first booking. Click or tap the banner below for unforgettable travel experiences. Looking for a way to innovate faster while saving costs and improving product performance? With Ansys, you can test your products in a virtual environment saving time and money on physical testing. Our advanced engineering simulation software allows you to simulate complex physics and analyze results in real time, giving you the data you need to make informed decisions. Whether you're in aerospace, automotive, or any other industry, we have the tools you need to optimize your designs and improve product performance. Our software is reliable, powerful, and versatile and we helped thousands of businesses around the world succeed. Visit Ansys.com today to learn more about how Ansys can benefit your business. 
Join the growing number of innovators who are using Ansys simulation software to stay ahead of the competition. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. At Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must log rate between 331 and 831. Call 37 rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS consumer access number 3030. This is Matt Mahoney, defender for the Colorado Springs Switchbacks, and you're listening to Extra Sports 1300. Welcome into the Switchbacks post-match show. You know, we've been spoiled as of late. The Switchbacks have put on some amazing performances, have absolutely housed their opponents here at Widener Field. Winners of four in a row, outscoring opponents 12-0. Tonight, it all came crashing down at 5-0. San Diego Loyal comes away with their most decisive victory of the season, and I don't even need to look. It's got to be their most decisive victory in their club's history. Let's tell you how we got to this point because there are a few benchmarks here. I think, first of all, the match being delayed by 45 minutes. Both teams have to deal with that, but that was something that happened uh, tonight. So we got this one underway late. San Diego was itching to go because they only took a minute to get their first goal of the night. That came from Alejandro Perez. And you and I, Roland, were just stunned. We were just stunned to see the switchbacks concede that goal and then eight minutes later concede another one. Yeah, Christian Herrera with the mistake for the first. The switchbacks just didn't settle. goes without saying. Early in that match, San Diego were leading. They were pressing forward. They were dictating tempo. Didn't let the switchbacks get into any kind of rhythm. It was just really disjointed from the home side. And to be quite honest with you, San Diego deserved their two-goal lead. They could have made it three, could have made it four very quickly after that. It really started to spiral out of control from a switchback's perspective. Well, it did, and that was exemplified by the red card that was given to Romario Williams. Now, I will eagerly search for the video evidence of what transpired but it's going to go down as violent conduct he and uh stoneman got into it a little bit uh romario williams with a heavy challenge near the sideline we've seen enough soccer to know that stoneman probably took exception maybe said something got in romario's face romario maybe moving towards him and then whether or not there was some sort of a headbutt is going to be for the league uh, to decide. Our uh, eyeballs down there say that there was nothing, uh, but we'll see what the league has to say. And that really, that was really the end. Yeah. I mean, you you said when the third goal was scored that that was game set and match, but really being down two goals, being sent off, where the officiating was at that point. I mean that that was it. Yeah, it was, and there just didn't seem to be anything there in that challenge with Romario Williams to get him sent off, and I have to believe there's no reason that uh, anyone who was down there who was talking to us here in the booth would be telling us porky vice about that, so we have to trust what they have to say. Neither of us saw anything in live time, a terrible way for the switchbacks. Look, they were already it was already going to take a Herculean effort for them to even get back into the game. That made it pretty much impossible. That was pretty much curtains on the evening. Yeah, it was. And, and I think you brought this up earlier. You know, as Stephen Hogan figures out the message to his team and how they're going to respond to this, I think at the very least you could flush everything from about the 15th minute yeah. on because yeah. that opened the floodgates. 
they, things got stretched. It became a gong show. And, and that's you brought that up like that's the easier part to just kind of say, OK, forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan. And you can you can look to the refereeing decisions as well that never seem to fall into any kind of a pattern. There was a, a real time there in the middle of that first half where there were some pretty poor refereeing decisions that were starting sure. to snowball a little bit. And that contributed to the switchbacks getting out of their rhythm, getting out of their their mold, for lack of a better term. And I think for the switchbacks, individual mistakes, be they on the goalkeeper or anyone else, those are the kind of things that are going to happen. Those are easy to talk your way around. Those are easy to train your way out of uh, in the future. And I think that the switchbacks will look at that red card as a moment where the match became just a little bit too much and was really just taken out of their hands. And there really, quite frankly, wasn't anything else they could do. Look, they could have defended some of those goals after that red card better, and they'll be the first people to hang their head, their heads, their uh, hands up, their heads up and say that. But look, I think you just kind of have to flush that one after the red card. That, that pretty much ended this as a contest. Right. Uh, bodily scored. Blake Bodily scored almost an identical goal in the 30th minute to make it 3-0. And then a terrific shot that hit off the uh, upper 90 of the switchbacks goal by Adrian Perez was then headed brilliantly into the back of the net by Tumi Moshobane in the 48th minute for Moshobane. That was his third goal of the year. And we would go into the break with San Diego leading 4-0. They did get one in the second half from second half sub Elliot Collier. Uh, the switchbacks didn't have a lot uh, to say about things when it comes to them pressuring uh, Koke Vegas. A couple of chances here and there, but Vegas is going to get a pretty easy clean sheet out of this one and a 5-0 final score in favor of San Diego. We'll continue on with the switchbacks post-match show after this on Extra Sports 1300. For the ones who know safety isn't a catchphrase, it's a culture and the ones who help make sure everyone makes it home safe for the safety minded who watch everyone's backs granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry as well as safety assessments and training to keep your facility safe and your people safer call click granger.com or just stop by granger for the ones who get it done at Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing for Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must log rate between 331 and 831. Call 37 rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS Consumer Access. Org, number 3030. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. At Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must log rate between 331 and 831. Call 37 rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing letter license in all 50 states. And MLS Consumer Access.org, number 3030. Every day, you have a choice. Listen to your coworkers or listen to Extra Sports 1300. Stream your favorite shows on your computer at extrasports1300.com. Switchbacks fall to San Diego Royal 5-0. We'll talk about the implications of that on the standings here in just a little bit. Looking at the numbers from this one, both teams end up getting 10 shots, but the shots that matter are the shots on target. San Diego Loyal, 5 of 6 tonight uh in terms of shot converting shots on target into goals the switchbacks were only able to test coke vegas four times 
the possession dominated by San Diego tonight with 65 to 35 percent of it. And then really where things are nutty is the not the fouls, 17 for the switchbacks, 13 for San Diego. That's a fairly typical number. Five yellow cards in total for the switchbacks. One to James Chambers, the assistant coach. Four other players got yellow cards. San Diego had four players get carded. And then, of course, what really turned this one into what it became was the red card given to Romario Williams in the 15th minute. And as of now, he will not uh, be available for the switchbacks when they head to Phoenix one week from tomorrow night. Uh, we'll continue on with the uh, switchbacks post match show after this on Extra Sports 1300. You know, when you're really stressed or not feeling so great about your life or about yourself, talking to someone who understands can really help. But who is that person? How do you find them? Where do you even start? Talkspace. Talkspace makes it easy to get the support you need. With Talkspace, you can go online, answer a few questions about your preferences, and be matched with a therapist. And because you'll meet your therapist online, you don't have to take time off work or arrange childcare. You'll meet on your schedule, whenever you feel most at ease. If you're depressed, stressed, struggling with a relationship, or if you want some counseling for you and your partner, or just need a little extra one-on-one -on -one support, Talkspace is here for you. Plus, Talkspace works with most major insurers, and most insured members only pay a $25 copay or less. No insurance, no problem. Now get $80 off of your first month when you go to Talkspace.com. Match with a licensed therapist today at Talkspace.com. Talkspace.com. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal and one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must lot rate between 331 and 831. Call 337 Rocket for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing letter license in all 50 states. And MLS Consumer Access Org number 3030. Bring your favorite hosts close to your heart or wherever you put your phone. Download the Extra Sports 1300 app and listen to your favorite shows anywhere. Back here at Weiner Field, switchbacks fall 5-0 to San Diego Loyal. Uh, always generous with his time, switchbacks head coach Stephen Hogan joins us. And uh, the first 10 minutes of this one, was that 10 days off? What, what was that that we saw in the first 10 minutes? Yeah, everyone's been asking me that all week, Austin, talking about that with the players, talking about that with the staff. You know, this group has never had that break before. We have done those breaks before, collectively, as a staff and whatever else. But uh, I don't know if that mistake at the 40 seconds in is 10 days off or is just a mental error because of his footwork or his body's not behind the ball because of the field. You know, you could argue that. But the atmosphere goes right there. You know, and then they can see quickly after that defensive mistake when we talked about how much they could inside and our threat when they could inside when they're around your box. And if you looked at it, that's literally where all their goals came from. So, right. it, it's it, yes, it's a, a mental mistake by, by Christian, but collectively we can't let that happen after that goal. And then you get the red card at 10 minutes. So that's not that's not the break. That's a refereeing error. It's a disgraceful decision. I've watched it back. If it was a clear elbow, I would have been, all right, Romario, get off. Here we go. We're down 10 men. But I saw the replay three or four times on our iPad, and he shouldered him. So, yeah, uh, I was just, I was just going to say, we were trying to interpret because obviously the ball was cleared away, and we yeah. thought that maybe there was a chance for you guys to hit him on the counter. So we kind of caught the end of it and it looked like all of a sudden Stoneman goes flying. Mm. So what was the official explanation that you received? Uh, caught him with an elbow is what I heard. 
Okay. Um, I actually, I was to your point. I was looking at where the ball was landing, and I was like, "All right, that's a foul. Let's just get the ball back and let's yeah. go on." You know, he shoved him, or he hit him with the side, shoulder to shoulder, and he's gone down. It happens all the time. But to come out and say it was an elbow, you know, and Alan and Chambo saw right away, so that's probably why they lost it. But it, it ends the game. It's the game's yeah. over. I think yeah. From that point on, I know we try to rescue it, and we collapse a little bit, play the mid to low block, and then the third goal really deflates us again, where you're. You went in and try and managed, you know, at halftime if you're two, because they had a 2-2 draw with Indy when that Indy were 10 men a few weeks ago. So you're like, all right, manage it when we get home. We had an idea of where, who we're going to put on the field at what time, just in case. And the two, three, or the, the three and the four really just ended it. But at the second goal, at the second goal with the red card, it was over. How do you guys reach in? I know that you've got Phoenix coming up, but how do you look at this one? Because this is it's going to be kind of a strange trip now with what's happened tonight going back to San Diego in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, the anger and the aggression I could see in the locker room already is just like, you know, they wanted to go three on the bounce. They wanted to jump, depending on the El Paso or GV game tomorrow, they wanted to jump into second or third place, whatever it may have been, and then continue on to get whatever we can get on the road, which is now a game plan for the rest of the season. So the, the idea is we'll break it down tomorrow. Most of them have already just left, you know. They're all frustrated in terms of not executing our defensive game plan, let's say. Um, we didn't really create any chances until Malik came on the field. I like what Malik did and what Jonas did. That the two strikes, Vegas made two great saves. But, um, yeah, we break it down real quick. We move on. Um, and we prepare for Phoenix as best we can. And how do you channel that aggression to Phoenix? That's a difficult trip. They've, they've had some struggles this year, but that's a difficult trip even in the best of times. Yeah, for sure. It's always been a difficult trip. It's a hard place to go, but the... The understanding of what we can do collectively now with everyone back and nearly everyone healthy is it's what's going to have to get us over the line to, to get the three points or even nick a draw, whatever it may be. But um, we we push the incentive in terms of like staying in that top four as best we can for as long as we can. And I think that's a mindset they all have. Um, and then we have seven more at home and we have to take as many here as, as possible. So this is why this one really hurts. Yeah, it, it certainly does, but you guys have done so much good work lately that you've put yourself in a, a position here to be right back in the top four if things go your way in Phoenix. Uh, Coach Hogan, really appreciate you taking the time to join us, and we'll uh, chat before Phoenix. Thanks, guys. You bet. That's Stephen Hogan, the head coach of the Colorado Springs Switchbacks, always generous uh, with his time. And I'll just say this as he closes the door so it doesn't sound like we're pandering. You and I kind of discussed it off air. Like that speaks to who he is as a head coach. Yeah. That he came up. I mean, that that was that was an embarrassing evening. As we said, it's easy to flush what happened after the red card, but it was it, it was a really bad start to the match. And for Stephen Hogan to still make his way up to the upper concourse yeah. and talk to us, that shows the kind of coach that he is. Yeah, he's not contractually obligated to do that that's within him that's that's the class of Stephen Hogan yeah it certainly is uh we will take one last break come back let you know where your viewership should be if you are so inclined tomorrow to watch uh soccer and uh, we'll wrap things up from Widener Field uh, after that as well here on Extra Sports 1300. At Rocket, we know buying a home is exciting and a bit overwhelming. Ready to buy a home but stressed about writing those big checks? Rocket can help you save. When you buy with Rocket Homes and finance with Rocket Mortgage, you can get up to $10,000 cash toward closing from Rocket Mortgage. It's a pretty big deal. And one you can get only with Rocket. Visit onlywithrocket.com to get started today. For purchase transactions only, must lot rate between 331 and 831. Call 8337-ROCKET 8 for conditions and restrictions. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS Consumer Access Org number 3030. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Viator is the world's leading travel experience marketplace. From simple tours to extreme adventures and everything in between. Underground donut tour in Miami. Mallorca hot air balloon ride. 
wine tour in Tuscany. Book them all on Viator. One app, over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Use code Viator10 in the app for 10% off your first booking. Click or tap the banner below for unforgettable travel experiences. KCSF Colorado Springs, a cumulus media station. Live from the Clutch Bet Studios, this is Extra Sports 1300. Your one-stop shop for the best sports betting content is BetQL. Every Saturday and Sunday starting at 10 a.m. on Extra Sports 1300. Wrapping things up from Winder Field, switchbacks fall to San Diego Loyal 5-0. Their home winning streak ends at four matches with the loss. Uh, San Diego will jump them into fourth place in the USL Championship Western Conference, but still the switchbacks with a chance for a a measure of revenge two weeks um, from now. But in the interim, a couple of matches tomorrow that if you want to watch some soccer, I may direct your attention to at 7.30 tomorrow night, El Paso Locomotive takes on Rio Grande Valley FC coming into play tonight. Uh, El Paso Locomotive was three points up on the switchback, so they have a chance to extend that. And then Sacramento later that evening, 9 o'clock Mountain Time, they will take on Memphis 901 FC. That should be a heck of a match, to be honest. Uh, But Sacramento trying to extend their lead over everyone in the Western Conference with a win uh, in that one. As far as the switchbacks go, they will be in action one week from tomorrow night. They'll have a a quick two-match road swing uh, over the next two weeks. They'll start in Phoenix, and then uh, the following Sunday, they will play at San Diego. Don't get us started on that. Uh, So one week from tomorrow night, the switchbacks will be down in Arizona taking on Phoenix Rising FC. It's an 8.30 p.m. kickoff. Roland and I will be on the air 30 minutes prior. A closing thought, my friend and broadcast partner. It's just about as ugly of a game as you could imagine from all kinds of perspectives. Uh, I don't think the switchbacks were given a fair chance at this one necessarily. I Look, if if Kevin Doyle tells me that nothing happened in the corner in front of him, then nothing happened in the corner in front of him. And that's an end to that. Um, So, look, the, the, the switchbacks coaching staff were given replays that we didn't have access to, obviously, on that one. But... Coach Hogan said it. We said it during the broadcast. We've said it after in the post game show. That red card to Romario Williams totally changed this game, and it may have a lingering effect with the switchbacks being without one of their better and more consistent and hardworking players. Um, they're going to need to flush this one, obviously, rest, recuperate, and have a very difficult trip down to the Valley of the Sun against a Phoenix Rising team that's been perennially one of the best in the Western Conference, but has fallen off a little this year. Uh, I have been uh, informed that we have one more commercial obligation, so we'll take that and then uh, wrap things up from Widener Field after that here on Extra Sports 1300. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail, the ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey, guys. Tom Patterson here, founder and CEO of Tommy John. For years, you've been hearing me tell you about our revolutionary men's undergarments. But don't take my word for it. Listen to what our customers are saying. Okay, I've been with my husband for 15 years, and my pet peeve has always been catching him rearranging himself. So I got him Tommy John, and he's never adjusted since. Plain and simple, Tommy John's my favorite underwear ever. A horizontal fly, comfortable waistband, color options, and no wedgie. Thank you, Tommy John, for changing my life. He's not exaggerating. Tommy John really will change your life. You'll love all of our phenomenal underwear, undershirts, and socks. Plus, the best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guarantee. Tommy John, no adjustment needed. Shop Tommy John's Summer Collection and get 20% off your first order at tommyjohn.com slash audio. Save 20% now at tommyjohn.com slash audio. See site for details.
I'm Andrea, founder of a boutique handbag brand, Andy, and this is why I switched to Shopify. I tried three other platforms prior to Shopify, and I remember my breaking point was when I would try to make one little change and my entire site would go down. Shopify made it really easy for me to shift everything over and hit the ground running. I was easily able to migrate my products and all of my customer information over. With the drag and drop theme editor, we don't need to hire a developer to do any coding. What's amazing is that each theme is automatically optimized on mobile. It's incredible. It looks even better on the phone. We really like adventure. We would not be able to go on the road without a platform that we can rely on. What are you waiting for? Start your free trial with Shopify today. From templates that make site design simple to customizations that let you grow at your pace, this is your possibility powered by Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash music 23. Go to shopify.com slash music 23 to take your business to the next level today. You already listen to us. Now follow us at Extra Sports 1300 on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now we wrap things up from Widener Field. Switchbacks fall 5 0. One week from tomorrow night, switchbacks in Phoenix. 8 30 kickoff, 8 o'clock broadcast time, uh, barring lightning uh, here on Extra Sports 1300. Uh, thanks to Andrew Scorgi back at the Extra Sports 1300 Studios for putting in a longer night than he should have. Uh, same can be said for my broadcast partner, Roland Vargas. I'm Ryan Kaufman wishing you the best rest of your weekend. And we will talk to you one week from tomorrow night for Switchbacks and Phoenix Rising here on Extra Sports 1300. This has been an exclusive presentation of Colorado Springs Switchbacks FC and Extra Sports 1300. Switchback Soccer has been presented by the Phil Long Family of Dealerships, official automotive sponsor of the Switchbacks, offering over 3,600 new and pre-owned vehicles. Experience why Colorado drives Phil Long. Find out more at phillong.com. Switchback Soccer has also been sponsored by UCCS, Centura Health, McDivitt Law Firm, 291 Colorado Whiskey, Jersey Mike's, T. Rowe Price, Pikes Peak National Bank, Pepsi, Underline, the Better Business Bureau of Southern Colorado, TikTok Shop, Diversus Health, Tito's Handmade Vodka, and Century Casinos. For all things Switchbacks, log on to switchbacksfc.com. Thank you for listening on Extra Sports 1300 and Extra Sports 1300.com. Uh, well, there's a difference between LeBron James at, on a, in an award show and Charles Barkley in a bar with Bud Light. If when you want to talk about and, and being in a bar, like he wasn't on national television going, hey, F you in a bar having beer, talking about beer. That was for emphasis, man. Come on. What, what, what other <laughs> point are you supposed to be vulgar? While drinking a beer in, in, in a in a bar, but yeah, go for it. Sure, but but Jr. It's such a beautiful message. It is a beautiful and, and, message. And, and, so let's play it again. <laughs> play it, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I want to say this: If you're gay and transgender, I love you. Hey, and if anybody gives you, you tell them Charles that you. Yeah, no better emphasis, Shep. Yeah, why not? I, I, it is I, a beautiful message. And sometimes a beautiful message needs an exclamation point. Yeah, if, yeah it's just Charles Barkley. Is, isn't that the next exclamation point enough? No. Okay. No. C certain people, there's only a few things they understand. All right, we're not playing it again, are we? Yeah, play it again. Okay. I want to say this. If you're gay and transgender... Yeah, that was the last one. 855-212-4CBS. That's 855-212-4CBS. Vlad is calling from Illinois. You're on the JR Sport Reef Show. The GOAT. How you doing today, brother? I'm excellent. How are you? Uh, not, not, not too bad, man. Um... I respect Charles Barkley, man. I like him a lot. I remember him um, talking about the big old woman in San Antonio. Well, excuse didn't bring that up. The big old women in San Antonio? Yep. With the churros? Yeah, the churro, the churro eating and the creek, every all that stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, Muddy Creek. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's uh, it's great what he says. Yep. Yeah, he's a great guy, man. Yeah. Um. Besides that, I want to talk about the Sox, man. I don't. You go to San Antonio? Yeah, um, <laughs> boy, no, at least we know stop. you. Do. Stop. At least we know. Stop. Stop. Boy, stop. what's he gonna do in San Antonio, Chuck? I'll tell you what, if he had, if he had oh. any kids down. Now, so you're into this one now. Huh? You're into this one now. Tell you what, if Shaq, if Shaq go down there and be the woman to have a baby, they're gonna be the biggest kids in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Chuck, man. I love hey, so, Chuck. Hey, have you been to San Antonio? Uh, I don't plan on any, anytime soon. Okay, hey, good. Keep going, Vlad. Yeah, man. I love Chuck, but uh, I want to talk about the Sox, man. Um, what do, what do I do, man? I'm tired of seeing them lose and the injuries and stuff, man. I don't I don't know what to do as a fan after today's game. I I, I don't know what to do, man. What do, what do I do, Jr. Oh, well, they got smoked by the Braves, not to nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what what you can do is uh, not watch the White Sox. Like, why why would you torture yourself? They're they're wasting your time right now. 